Did you know that you can now set your physical work location in Microsoft Teams? That's right, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it. Let's go ahead and let's dive in. All right, now to set your work location, you want to click into your profile and you will notice here this new option that sits in between your status and the set status message option. Now, if I go ahead and click on this, you're going to see here that you have the option to set your work location to either in the office or working remotely. Now, I will go ahead and click on remote. Now, I'll go ahead and click back on my profile picture here, and you can see now that the icon has updated to reflect the home icon. And if I click on the drop down again, you can see here that it is showing that I am working remote. And because we've set a location, you'll also see this option to clear the location. Now, I have noticed that there is a bit of a lag when you clear your location. So you can see I've selected that. I've clicked off of my account menu. And if I bring it back up, it is still showing that I am working remote. So you'll wanna be patient for these changes to take effect, or you can just close out Teams and reopen it, and you should see that change implemented. Now it's really important to note that when you set your work location in Teams, it will reset on a daily basis. So you will need to go into Teams and set that on a daily basis. Now Microsoft is also pushing out some additional features around setting your work location for each day of the week. That can be done in Outlook on the web or if you're using the preview version of the new Microsoft Outlook desktop app, and Microsoft will eventually be putting that functionality in Teams directly as well. All right, now you can see here that I am logged in to Microsoft Teams on the web and I am impersonating my colleague Diego. Now, if you wanna check the work location for one of your colleagues, you wanna click into their profile and you wanna hover over their profile picture and you'll notice next to their status the icon that indicates whether they're working from an office or whether they're working remotely. Now, at the time of recording this tutorial, this is the only place that you can actually see the work location in Microsoft Teams, and it isn't always obvious in my opinion. So hopefully Microsoft makes this a little easier to identify within the app. Now, I'll go ahead and click on the profile picture in the web app. And again, you'll notice that even in the Microsoft Teams web app, you have the option to go ahead and set your work location as well. Now, it's really important to note that at the time of recording this video, the set work location feature in MS Teams is only available to users who have opted in to the public preview program. Now, if you've not joined the Microsoft Teams public preview program, you can do it by following the steps that I outline in this video right here. I've included a link to that video in the description below, or you can just go ahead and click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen once you finish watching this video. Now to set your work location from the Teams mobile app, you want to click on your profile picture in the upper left hand corner of the app. And you'll see here the option to set your work location. You want to click on this and you can see here the same options are available. You can set your work location to working in the office or remotely. And once you select an option, you'll notice here that that is displayed in this menu. Now to view another user's work location, you want to click into a chat with them and then you want to click on their profile. And you can see here on the screen that just below my profile picture, it displays that I am currently working remotely. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can set your work location in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabellas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.